Well, right now it's 11 a.m. and we are preparing for the show. Normally we don't do magic shows that early, but in the summer we are very fortunate to have a lot of camps and we have children from YMCA camp, from girls club camp, boys club, church groups, and they the all come in. The bus just came. So are you well, almost ready? I'm not, no, I'm still setting up my show. Could right. you do some warm up for the I'm kids? Yeah, we always all do right. warm up. Okay. Tick, 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 tick. You gotta wait till I point at you. Tick, 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 what happened last year is that... Was it last year or the year before? Go ahead. I think it was two years ago. A lot of times in the show, things are funny, but you might not get the joke, and I don't want you to miss out on any of the, you know, the comedy or the fun, so I could give you a little signal like this, and you know you need to laugh. So let's practice one time, but I have a really loud laugh. Here we go. <laughs> All right, now the wolf hands is the really big laugh. So like around two years ago, something really strange happened. We had that one camp, like 120 kids, and there is no reaction in the entire show. And we don't know what's going on. We're like, are we doing something wrong? What's going on? There's no any laughter, anything, or barely non-reaction whatsoever. And basically audience is like an oil painting. They are all stone face and that's all. Yeah, the other thing is a lot of times, you know, when you watch TV, you don't think of like the plotting. You know, if the applause works with your hands, you're about to spark apart, and you, you know, you slap them together like that. So when I go like this, I want you guys to applaud. Okay, let's get one, two, three. after the show that the main counselor told the kids not to make a beep, not to, you know, distract performers for, from their work, not to disrupt the show, just sit there quietly and watch. Well, this is sort of sad. Obviously, that, that woman never even probably was in a theater in her life, but you would think that somebody in a position of power would be, you know, a little more smarter not to sort of damage the kids and us and the whole performance is just horrible. And I'm just thinking when you're a kid, you really think that people who are in position of power, like your teachers or like counselors, that they're really fair and, and they know something. And what a disappointment when you learned that this is not always true and people can be so unfair and crazy and put into those positions. This is so sad. Like, I don't want to be in any position in power. I, I want everything but not the position of power. Like sometimes when I have to be, when like interview employees or have to hire somebody or fire somebody, I just hate that. And I think that People in power should more, instead of liking their powers, they should actually feel uncomfortable because if you would feel uncomfortable to do those decisions, you would be really, really more fair. But then I am meeting a lot of people who love to be in a position of some management or power and they just sort of thrive on uh, uh, seeing that their way, it's the way or, uh, it, it it goes like they say. We have seated about uh, three or four minutes for the show. Yay. If you guys would like a beer or a glass of wine, <laughs> they drink the better they drink love. Uh, I was a little late on the last. You guys want a beer or a glass of wine? Yay. So the teacher who told children not to make a beep reminds me of that clip of Donald Trump Trump that I saw yesterday when he was talking to his fellow Republicans and he told them to shut up, don't speak, that uh, uh, let me talk, I know what to do, I'm 
tell what I'm gonna tell you what to do and I'm going to do the best by myself that's the position of power how sad it's coming I have a feeling that it's coming after the brexit I have a feeling it's coming oh that wasn't that scary just finished our magic show for the Holy Grove camp and it was fantastic it was very enthusiastic the kids were applauding and laughing and had a lot of fun and the most special the little kids gave us standing ovation it is incredible with kids who see the theater the tick, first tick, time tick 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 boom, boom!